Where does your fish come from? Is it wild from the ocean? Does it come from a fish farm? How do you know that your cod is actually caught? How far back can you trace the fish you're about to eat? The kitchen, the market, the auction, the factory, the dock, the boat, the exact location it was caught. There have been great improvements in, in recent years, but we need to make sure there's more accountability and responsibility in fishing. You know, Repo ensures full traceability and sustainability with modern fishing practices. With traceability, we can trace the journey of the fish that it has taken from the sea all the way to the plate of the consumer in, in great detail. It's very important for us to uh, control our processes and to continuously improve. It is also very important for our, our customers to reassure them that, that we are um, doing what it says on the label. I mean, the industry has been quite good at this. Uh, we use technology to, uh, to capture all this detailed information throughout every link from the start to finish. We, we can sense that there is more awareness with the consumers about where their food is coming from. So we have actually quite robust systems and processes. So we use a technology to trace the fish all the way to uh, where and when it was caught, by whom it was packed, and then we trace every link of the way all the way to the consumer. In terms of food safety and sustainability, I, I think it's really important that governments have a very steady hand on this because we are dealing with a very uh, precious resource. Uh, it is finite and uh, it's therefore really important that governments uh, handle this very rigidly. Sustainability uh, in, in, in fishing, I would say it has three pillars. We have the uh, environmental part of it, we have uh, the economics and we have the social aspects. So in terms of the environment, we have to make sure that we uh, fish responsibly. We, we make, make sure we don't take more fish out of the sea than the stocks tolerate. So we try to put a lot of emphasis on adjusting our fishing efforts and uh, our logistics chain to make sure we optimize fuel consumption. And we are very concerned about our uh, carbon footprint. So, so that's very much a focus of ours. We are currently uh, investing heavily in our, our fishing fleet and, and there's a lot of focus now on the optimal use of fuel and, and with these new vessels, it will significantly reduce our carbon footprint. We are always dealing with a limited resource, so, so it always has to be managed. You can't fish endlessly because we've seen it in the past that ends in uh, disaster, so we have to manage it very closely. So in terms of uh, sustainability, it's not just about sustaining the fish stocks, it's also sustaining our, our communities. This is hugely important to us and this is actually the backbone of our success. I would say 60 to 70 percent of global fisheries are, are sustainably managed, but, but it also means that there is still a lot of work to be done. Thankfully, there's a lot of good news out there. Uh, as an example, Noripo is catching from the biggest cod stock in the world, in the Barents Sea in the North Atlantic. We've seen in recent years the highest stock size we have seen. At the same time, we're also seeing very good news in the Pacific, on the eastern part of, of Russia, where uh, Alaska Pollock has been very resilient. So, so there's a lot to take joy from. I mean, we've seen very positive development in terms of sustainability within the uh, industry. So there are a lot of great companies doing good things. We, as a, a very big supplier, we have to show leadership in this regard. We, we are trying to do the right things, and uh, I'm sure the uh, consumer will uh, support it, and subsequently other suppliers will also follow suit.